What's up, y'all? It's Ant Glizzy and it's Bob Sun TV. And this is the NFL player who beat a murder. So, if y'all don't know, it's this ex NFL player. He used to be in the NFL. He went to Florida State, Florida State College. He played college football. He went to the NFL, got drafted to the NFL. He played for, I believe, the New York Giants. So, he had a girlfriend. He was dating this girl. Allegedly, it was his girlfriend. He, to, to him, it was his girlfriend. But in real life, this girl was married. She had a husband. He never knew she was married or had a husband or nothing. So long story short, they started dating. They was in an ongoing relationship. They've been talking for on and off. So... The girl used to come to the house, used to come over his house, spend the night. She used to be abusive. She'd get drunk, beat on him, hit him. They got videos of him being abused on the door camera. Long story short, they got into an argument. And things got heated. So they fell out. I don't really know what the fallout was about. Y'all know it's all over YouTube. It's everywhere. So when they fell out, the girl was like, I'm going to send my brothers over there to kill you. So they arguing, going back and forth for the text message. So I guess the girl texted her brothers and was like, go over there and shoot. Like, mean, go over there and shoot the house up. Or I don't know, shoot him. I don't know. Shoot something. So long story short, the brothers end up pulling up to his house. So now the brothers pull up to his house, his mother in the house. And there's some people in the house, but he outside the door talking to him as he come out. As he come out, they talking, they going back and forth. One of them punch him over top of the head. So as he punch, get punched over top of the head, it's a couple more guys. I'm going to say four to five guys. I don't know how many exactly the story is out. I'm just breezing through it because y'all know I really can't read, so I just breeze through the story. I'm just trying to get my fans and let y'all know from my point of view that this is crazy. Don't be trusting these females. So, the, the the brother show up, they end up jumping him, they hop in the car and pull off, but he ran in the house and grabbed his gun and came back out. As he came back out, the car was pulling off and they had words in the car, like they was yelling from the car and he was yelling to the car. But they end up having a gun on him, they had a gun on him in the car, like they had a gun on him, they was pulling off in the car, so he started finding his gun. As he find his gun, I believe he shot two of them. It might have been four people. He shot two. It was three to four people. But he ended up killing one. One ended up dying. So you would think him being a football player, them coming to his house, them being the girl brothers, he told her the girl was abusive. She sent them. They was there to kill him and stuff like that. They jumped him. It would be justified. He wouldn't be charged with murder. It would be like justifiable murder. Like it should be justified. No, that ain't what happened. Police came and charged him with murder. And now it's him versus the prosecutor to fight for his life and prove he ain't murder. So now he locked up the story coming out. So now the police got the phone, they got the reports, they got the mother, they got the can the doorbell camera, they got a rock of information. So now they in trial, so now he in trial for his life. Cause they trying to charge him with murder. So as he in trial for life trying to plead that it was self-defense, the prosecutor is trying to plead that he killed these people and it wasn't self-defense. The prosecutor, I seen a video of the prosecutor saying the car pulled off and they was leaving. How was they trying to kill him? They leaving. But it's like they showed up to his house, jumped him, and his text message is showing that they was there to kill him. Like the girlfriend said, go over there and shoot. Up. Like, that's enough to let you know what they was there for. And they brung a gun. First of all, somebody told you go shoot something up. You show up there with a gun. Like, you know, with them, I'll wait till they shoot me for it to come true. It's like, we already know what they there for. But he a black man in America and he a football player. So he lost his contract and all that. But, like, forget the contract and all that. I know he was fighting for his life. I know he just won his freedom. So, boom. I'm just checking into him. I don't really know who he is. I like I just heard the story the day he was in trial, they was about to read the verdict. So he in trial, his lawyer team, he got a good lawyer team. They said what they said. The prosecutors tried to make it seem like murder said what they said. So they interviewed the girlfriend, put the girlfriend on the stand. 
So when they put the girlfriend on the stand, the girlfriend was saying that basically she sent them over there and said, shoot, shoot, shoot up, but she ain't say shoot him. Just a lot of nonsense. They already got the text message. The, his lawyer ate her alive, made her testimony unvalid because it was unvalid anyway. You sent some guys to kill. I didn't even know a person can send some people to kill you and they not be charged. That's that's when I knew it was crazy. I thought the prosecutor would have charged them with charged them with the murder because they went over there went over there to do something to him. So the son, they got like if you going to move with your homeboys, when your homeboys down to move from somebody defending themselves, your homeboys get the charge. I would have thought it was that, or they would have charged the girl with the murder because she set it up or accessory or something. But they ain't do nothing to her. But this what made me think he was really innocent. He was out awaiting his trial. He wasn't locked up. He did an interview speaking why his trial was going on. If he was guilty, his lawyers would have never let him talk. That's just written. In fact, he would have never been able to talk to an open interview about your case as your case going on. And you fight for a murder. They would have never let him do that. So that was like he ain't got nothing to hide. And this another thing. He took the stand in his own defense. He took the stand in his own murder trial and testified for himself. They will never let you go up there and testify. Man, you will incriminate yourself even if you ain't do it. They not to make it look like you did it. They will never let you do that unless you 100,000% innocent. He was 100,000% innocent. That's why he went up there and did that. So when it came back and they read the verdict not guilty, I was happy for him. But they say he like a quiet person. He don't really be doing too much. Celebrating, he ain't no flamboyant person. He just like a quiet person. He just mind his business and do what he do. It. I seen his demeanor. I like his style. He real humble, be chilling. So now that I think about it, he did what he supposed to do. Some guy showed up. He defended himself, and I feel like he should not be guilty. So I feel like that's a win in the community. Like and subscribe to the page. How y'all feel in the comments? Y'all gotta talk back to me in the comments. Y'all don't be talking. Y'all talk about a bunch of nonsense and this and that. Talk about the content, man. What y'all feel like he should have did right or he should have did wrong? Do y'all feel like he innocent or do y'all feel like he guilty? I feel like he innocent and they just try to frame a black man. But this one I'm going to tell y'all. For all y'all that's getting into it with them females and you with a female, she know your every move, she know everything about you and she abusive, just try your best to get away from her. Just leave on the first time. Don't stay and wait on night. Be your last time, bro. These females is dangerous. To know you can date a female that will tell somebody to come kill you, that scared me alone. It's a crazy world. After he got found not guilty, my man went up on Instagram. This was the rawest reaction I ever seen in my life. Y'all don't even show other people lives. I gotta show y'all the live. This guy is the GOAT on my mother. He is still being alive right now. And if you ain't gas him up, the GOAT. Bobberson.